All right, Ricky, we want you to help make a difference in one of the most important elections of our lifetime. Register to vote today at news1.com slash vote. Brought to you by Urban One and One Vote. Represent the vote. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Monday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Tamar Braxton's ex-husband, Mr. Vince Herbert, y'all. People are saying, y'all, that he was ordered to pay only $380,000 judgment to LDNX Records after losing a break, y'all, a, bre- a breach of contract. Lawsuit. Well, Vincent is saying y'all that he does not have the money. He don't know why they want this money from him because he doesn't have it. So now they're saying y'all that they, since he refused to submit his financial information, that they are going to freeze his access. Now, I mean, if he don't have the money to pay, Wait, why man, who? Pay? Vince, um, um, Tamar's ex-husband, which a lot of people say um, Tamar should at least help him because at the time when he went through all this lawsuit stuff, they were together. So, right. he, you know, she could kind of contribute and help him out and whatever and stuff. But now they're going to freeze his assets and stuff, and he ain't going to be able to spend no money. And trust me, I've been through that, honey. I know when they freeze your assets, when you at home sleeping, baby, you wake up, your bank account is gone. Well, mm. ho- hopefully Tamar do come in and help him because I know she got some of the money, too, when they got the divorce. So yeah. maybe she will help him a little bit, hopefully. Well, well we hope so, y'all. So we're going to keep Vince lifted up in our prayer. And they froze your bank account, account, Gary. Yes, sir, honey. Yeah, Ricky, honestly, honey, let me tell you another thing, too, which y'all got to realize. If you owe student loans, honey, and you got a job, mm-hmm. they could go to your little job and ask, do you work there? And the, and the human resource guy say you do, and they freeze your money, honey. They took all my little coins, honey. I'm like, oh, okay. How much they took? 50000 How Ooh. much they took every they, month? Um, They took, like, maybe a, a couple of hundreds every month, but they took it until they finally got it, honey. So they that, added up, huh? They added up, and I was like, golly, they could have at least told me, you know, your friend was the one who had to freeze my money, but I ain't calling no names. But anyway. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, the other one. Yes, thank you for being alone. <laughs> but anyway, child, they showed it. I was like, girl, I was sick. And I'm like, well, what am I working for? It won't be $200. <laughs> But hell, but still, that was two hundred dollars I didn't know about, honey, until I checked my check, honey. And these girls were like, honey, we gonna get it until we get all your money. So that degree on my wall, honey, is paid for. I, so I just look at that piece of paper. I'm like, girl, this is how much you cost. So anyway, <laughs> moving on, honey. Another celebrity news, y'all, honey. Um, Cardi B. A lot of people saying y'all Cardi B may be charged with child abuse. Now it was reported that Cardi B, honey, was with her daughter, little um, Culture Canary Casifas, and they're saying she was at an event and she was drinking on a strawberry um insured shake. They're saying the baby was one some of the shake so Cardi would give her the straw like here you can have some and take the straw from her and wouldn't give her none and they said the baby was screaming and a lot of people said that could be a form of child abuse because you know that affects the child brain that their parent you know is that's, not being you know that's called training a child to you know well society know is saying that that's um that's child well, we abuse we can't worry about what society say society got something to say about everything if that's your child and that's how you want to handle your child mm-hmm. it's your child yeah okay? right. i mean but then that child gonna grow up to be like Maybe not she, she wanted the baby to have that no insured that baby didn't need no insured yeah well she that's wanted so we're gonna grow up to have some patience yeah well we're gonna see and i feel so bad for poor little culture car oh, but we're gonna keep her lifted and proud and hopefully that you know you know, my mama give us some milkshake next time. Oh, and, then, <laughs> and then my final story, y'all. Kenya, baby, from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Last night, Ricky, it was a mess, honey. Kenya was attacking post Cynthia, honey, and her wine company. Now, honestly, I called my friend Chanel because Chanel is the wine lady, honey. And I called her to say, please, if you could just help Kenya out. I mean, um, 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 Cynthia. Uh, Cynthia out because, I mean, Kenya was saying, okay, well, girl, if you like wine and you do wine, honey, what kind of wine goes with pork? What kind of wine goes with this? And how do you drink this wine? She went on and on. And I'm like, girl. Yeah, I, I wonder why she was doing that, though. Maybe to take some of the heat off of her situation and right, try to put yeah. it on somebody else. But that's not nice. I mean, just attacking. I mean, I felt so bad. And I love Kenya. Your dear honey, but I'm just like, golly. And Cynthia just sat there, honey. But, and I remember you know. them saying something to Cynthia, like, girl, you ain't know she was shading you. Yeah, she said she didn't even know, child. She said she was just playing up a child. You know, now with this new shade thing, honey, shade comes in so many forms. Now you'll never know when you shade shaded, Ricky. Okay. Mm-hmm. But anyway, the color of the day is one of my favorite colors. My color of the day is Corona. On the high end, you say Corona, and on the low end, you say beautiful amber. That's your color for today. All right, y'all, give it up.